Hey guys, Quash here with my 100% reliably activated diode rapid fire circuit. Uh, I guess uh, you can call this the 2x2 clock maybe. Uh, it's the most compact design I could get that actually worked 100% uh, of the time without fail. Uh, as you can see the diodes on this side run this way those run that way, you build your circuit, uh, you put in your reset line and it's important to have these blocks on the edge of that because it will stop the redstone in the center there from touching your circuit and your button cannot be on the block above the circuit if you hit the button it will lock the whole circuit up and you'll have to reset it and when you build this uh, you activate it from this location redstone torch down, break it circuit activates. That's the only time you'll ever have to use redstone torch on it. Then you can run your, it's a double lead, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, maybe somebody else knows a better way to unify the leads. Uh, but anyway, you get the double lead from each side and that's what helps you obtain the maximum speed, I think. Uh, you can load this up, you can put a door there, note block, whatever. You guys use these things for. I uh, haven't found a use for them yet for myself. Like I said, I'm a redstone newbie. It's my first day messing with it. Uh, but you hit your switch and your dispenser activates. You know, it could be a pressure plate, whatever. Um, and this fires at maximum speed, uh, known maximum speed, I guess. I compared it to the videos on YouTube of the other designs that were previously used. The one clock uh, is what it one got called, and one, uh, the diode that would break and only be half resettable. And then there's the old pulsar, I think is what they called it, uh, but that thing's you know, so noisy, I don't know how anybody could stand to have one of those around. Uh, so anyway, there you go, a perfectly reliable diode clock that is resettable 100% uh, of the time and fires at maximum speed.